Hey everybody, this is a little video for your IPTV on STB emulator that needs a password but you have a fire stick and you have no remote control and you're not sure how to enter the password for your adult channels. Some people will never figure it out. It's pretty easy. There's a couple different methods. Some IPTV servers are different than others. Some don't work one way and they have to be done a, d a different way. I'm going to be showing you one way, but I'll mention how to fix it if there's a alternative way that the server doesn't work and you have to use it. Well, I'm not going to mention any server names specifically. And also on your video on demand, on your STB emulator, there's, there could be 50,000 movies and there's no way you're going to look for one movie like Jaws and you look through 15,000 pages, you need their five hours to do this. So I'm going to show you how to do it where you can actually search, but you use your Fire Stick remote. So people who have keyboards or your phone remote that lets you type in things, of course it's going to be easier for you. So this is for people who only have a Fire Stick remote but have no idea how to watch the adult channels or how to search on their VOD when there's 50,000 movies to look through and they never ever find it. We're going to open up the IPTV which is your STB emulator. I'm just in my garage here so don't mind the mess around the TV. So your IPTV opens up. And let's say you want to watch adult, and this is just for fire sticks for people who don't have numbers on the remote, so they can't type in their password. So they're going to go through here, and they're going to put adults, and it's going to ask for a password. Well, how are you going to put a password when you only have this? Well, let me show you how. You're going to hit the menu button, that button with three lines. You're going to hit that once. And you're going to go over to keyboard and you're going to enter your password. So whatever your password is for your IPTV, let's put four zeros. After you enter, whether it's 7274 or 8888, whatever. You type in the four digits. That's it. And then you hit arrow back. Right there. Arrow back. And you come back to your screen. And you can see that it has... The four zeros right there. Of course, you can't see them, but they're hidden, but they're there. So then you hit your cursor down button, and you hit enter, and boom, there you go. That's how you enter the password. Now, some IPTV, you're going to click on adults, and, it's gonna, and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to open the menu. You're going to hit keyboard, and you're going to start putting in your password, and nothing is going to populate. It just doesn't work this method on certain IPTV servers. So I'm going to back up to here. And in this case, you're going to have to make one of your buttons on the remote. Let's say the rewind button. If it's a constant number like zero, you'll have to turn that button right there into zero. And then you'll, type, you'll hit that button four times. And you'll just do it that way. And that is on one specific IPTV that you have to do it this way. So you either open the menu and do it on most of them. This is only on Fire Stick. If it doesn't work that way, you can't put any numbers in. Then you have to do it the other way by using this remote and using a specific key you pick. And that's going to be the number you're going to hit. And you're going to hit that key. So I'm going to show you how to do the video club search on your movies right there. And with this method, you'll do the same method for your password method that doesn't work by using that remote, the keyboard on the menu. Okay, so we're going to go to, let's go to your video on demand. And as you can see there, there are 60,000 movies. Okay, well, go ahead and find Jaws. I'll give you five hours to do it. All right, go ahead. You got 4,000 pages. Let's go and show you how to fix it up so you can search. We're going to open up this menu in the top corner by hitting the menu button again. I showed you already. 
you're gonna hit settings and you're gonna hit configure key maps. This is gonna let you make one of the keys activate the search function. You're gonna to come to here and you're gonna hit add key and we're gonna press the, re the fast forward button right there. That's gonna be your key that you're gonna to use to search on video on demand. Now you have to pick an action, even though you didn't pick it yet. So we're gonna hit select action, and the button we want is, I'll explain it, is gonna be blue. That's the button you need that key to be for you to search. You're gonna select blue, and you're also gonna select long key press. Then you're gonna hit save key. Now you can see right there, the fast forward button is going to be your search button. Had you needed for your adult password that you, you can't use the other method I showed you, you would add key, then you would choose the other button, the rewind button right there. I would choose rewind. Then I'm going to put action not selected, so we're going to select the action. And if your password was all zeros, you would simply make that key right there. Now it's zero. That key represents zero for your password. And yes, you want long press. I'll explain why. You're gonna save the key. Now you have two. You have your zero button. It's only in certain situations you'll need that zero button. On some video on demand adult movies have a password. The keyboard is not gonna work that way. You're gonna to have to use that button to enter a second password, which would be four zeros on certain IPTV. So you have two functions right there. Now you normally use your fast forward and rewind buttons for some of your movies. Well, if you didn't put long press, it's gonna think it's a zero. It's not gonna realize you wanna fast forward so that, that won't work. It takes away that ability to fast forward or rewind. But since you put long press, that doesn't affect. You can watch your movies and hit fast forward if that's what you do and it works, then it won't affect your fast forward or rewind in your movies. So I'm going to hit arrow back on the remote, arrow back, and we're back to our video club. You see that blue button on the bottom? That's why we made the fast forward button blue. So you're on your video club. Go ahead and find JAWS. Well, it's no problem now. We're going to long press what we made the blue button, the fast forward button. That's blue. As soon as I do it, sorry, I hit the menu button by mistake. <laughs> We're going to hit the fast forward button and long press it. And now you see it says search. Bingo. So I'm going to hit search. Now we're going to type in JAWS. How? I'm going to hit the menu button like I showed you. And we're going to go down to keyboard. Remember, this is just for Fire Stick because you don't have a keyboard. Now there's your keyboard. You're going to type in your movie. Let's go and just going to do a sample. We're going to do JAWS. J-A-W-S. And you can see in the background, all the JAW stuff, everything you start typing, it's going to start listing all the stuff that starts with that spelling. And now you can go back. If you see your, your movie on the screen or you're done typing, you don't have to type the whole word in sometimes. Just hit your arrow reverse, arrow back. It's going to take you back to this screen. You'll see all the JAWS that you want. So you have to hit OK so you can clear that off the screen. Now you just go pick your movie and it's smooth sailing. Boom, bang, and you're watching Jaws. Okay, arrow back to get out, arrow back to get out, and back to the left, back on all, and then you go ahead and search. Very simple little video by adjusting the settings so you can use your remote to make things easier for you. And I got other videos that you can watch how to, the IPTV actually works when you open it up, how you get to different channels and how do you get back to video club, etc. Now had you been on TV and you were on adults and the method I showed you didn't work with the keyboard coming down like this and it doesn't enter any numbers. Well, I can't show it to you specifically because I don't have that server set up. 
but let's just assume that the zeros didn't come up and you had nothing in that box. Well, then you used your rewind key and you long press it. But this server is the opposite. It doesn't work with that method. So you do hold your reverse arrow, your rewind key, four times and you long press it. Hold it down until you see that little star pop up. You do it four times. Then you'll go down and hit OK. Obviously, it's not going to work because I can't put it in with this method on this particular IPTV. Only on certain ones. And that's a little video on just a couple tips to try to help you out. Cheers, guys.